Look like yeah, rain. It's pretty bad right now. Well, heavy, gray, low clouds. Yeah, it could be rain. Yep. Dave and Jimmy, doing what we can every day to keep you updated with news from love. Due to some sexual content, parental discretion is advised. So we all know AI, and maybe you've seen the commercials. Apple and their iPhones have AI built right in. Some things are easy to do. You could ask them, I don't know, what's French toast? And it'll (laughs) spring to life and give you directions. Well, there's an aspect of the iPhone right now that they're beta testing. And it's summing up gargantuan reams of text or voicemails. Now, What's it doing with them? It just tells you, like, hey, I I can't even say its name. All my products will be like, hey, Siri, uh, sum up all my uh, conversations with Carla. Well, this actually happened. Hmm. This guy uh, and this woman split for real. And the guy went to uh, app, you know, he's beta testing this AI, and it just summarized all of the breakup stuff through voicemail and text just saying no longer in relationship once belongings from apartment <laughs> now if you're into just getting down with it yeah. and just getting it over with that's yeah. fine so, <laughs> take something like that that lightly that yeah I'll trust this right. to summarize my relationship up and make moves based on Woo-hoo. that you're no longer in a relationship she wants belongings from your apartment <laughs> okay now this is another thing about tech and it, it, uh, it calls into mind work-life balance. There's a photo of a guy working on a laptop at his own wedding reception. It went viral. He's the co-founder of a tech startup oh, wow. and just needed to hop on real quick to let a co-worker access some code. But people just say, it's your damn wedding reception. Hmm. Isn't there some line of work-life no. balance no. here? Someone's got to help pay for that reception. Sorry, man. No. I got to do a little work. If you have a huge position. Yeah, but the picture of him, it. it's so sad. That'd be horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're trying it at your wedding reception. You're behind a laptop. You think anybody that was worth talking to would know you're getting married that day and not right, bother you? Right? Right. Well, someone needed code. Hmm. No. I know your first answer. Okay, this is a recent survey. It's not science. But 20% of married guys claim to have cheated on their wife at some point in their marriage. Whoa. So if you do the math, one out of five married guys at some point. Wow. Went outside, yeah. got something, probably kept it to themselves, never yeah. told you. I'm not looking at you directly, Kelsey. You are. However, I'm looking at you directly. Well, Jimmy wasn't married long <laughs> enough to cheat. Oh, God. That's Pat true. would be the last person on earth to cheat. It would go against his pure nature. He Hard would not, explode. Right. Hard he would not explode. Pat, He's a rule be, follower. Right. He's good for him. And I salute him. Absolutely. Until he buys that one-way ticket to San Francisco and he's driving out to the Golden Gate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just saying. Our final story, I don't know what to make of this. There's a woman in Australia. She has described herself as the most sexually active woman. She's a 27-year-old former marketing executive. She turned con- uh, content creator. In other words, she takes it all off. She shows you the plumbing. Uh, you get on a website. You mm-hmm. pay her money. She gives you the plumbing. How active is she? Well, she decided to take it to another level. She claims now, by the way, she earns more than $3 million a year mm. selling the stuff. Jeez. So she what set she out. Sell? Selling herself? herself? She's, on only, she's on OnlyFans. So she's, wow. you know, showing pictures of the plumbing or oh, taking requests. Right, right, and yeah. That yeah. Sort of, yeah, conventional stuff. Nope. She wanted to take it to a new level. She set a goal this year in the calendar year of 2024 to sleep with 600 people. Hmm. She's recently <laughs> updated her count to 400 and some change. And we're coming into the final stretch. Wait, let me look up horror in the dictionary. Oh, there she She's is. She's accepting applications on social media. Just a few rules. Applicants must be okay with being filmed, tested for every sort of thing you can imagine, and send a photo along with their application because she's very picky. So if you call her a slut, are you? is that a bad thing? Or does she actually qualify uh, as one? I wouldn't beat she on might her be the exception. She <laughs> the might, in a yeah. gender way. Yeah. Well, no, but if I ever say that, Kel's like, you can't say that about somebody. Well, I think this, right. same, this time we probably can. She says, some days I might sleep with five people, and the next few days I might sleep with nobody. But she's doing it for, I do get tired. For work, right? <laughs> her job is... To sleep with people. No, no. Her job she was a recently a content creator. Do you even listen to yes, half of the Yes, she ended up on OnlyFans, but she's hooking up with the clientele. She set a promotional goal mm-hmm. in this yeah. year. I'm not just going to show you the plumbing. 
Uh, we'll give I it want to 600 you. guys. Well, it, or porn plays, stars have know. done that before. They've yes. set records. So it's kind uh, of like that. So they Good. say, I'm not a slut. Okay. This is just for work. Stop it with that. Man, that's exhausting. Her name is Annie Knight Believe of me. Australia. Mm. Annie Knight of Australia. Look it up. This is Dave and Jimmy. You're listening to the number one rated morning zoo. And now we've lost Jimmy for the next five minutes. As we were saying, there's stuff going on in town. Yes, aside from the Bucks hosting Nebraska tomorrow at noon on Fox. Also, Dane Cook at Mershon Auditorium tonight. Several Halloween events. Highball Halloween is tomorrow in the short north on High Street from Goodale to Vine. It's known as the nation's most elaborate costume party. And Columbus drag queen Nina West is performing this year. This is the last weekend to take in Boo at the zoo. Also, the zoo is going to stop accepting cash as of Monday. See Shaquille O'Neal. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to get upside down when I come out there. What do you mean? I just have cash. You're gonna, you don't have a credit card, Dave? Maybe I like to go oh. without any Dave traces of my cash. Man. Dave makes it rain at the zoo. He brings yeah. the fat snacks yep. to the zoo. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Those flamingos. If that, mar- if that marsupial makes me happy, uh. right at your bill, bitch. Uh. Yeah, so Shaquille O'Neal is also a DJ on the side, DJ Diesel, and he is DJing at Haunted Fest EDM party at Kemba tonight. Mm, that's yeah. going to really bring in those... 20 year olds all mollied up to you know, see who's that? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sure there's people that are just interested in a good time that would see him on the marquee and say, why not? I was going out anyway. Bright okay. night at Fortress Obets is tomorrow. Circus shows, games, haunted hayride, it's free. Also, a costume party at Land Grant Brewing in Franklinton tonight for charity. The Hilliard Halloween haunt is tomorrow morning. Ballet Met's Dracula is all weekend at Davidson Theater. Also, National Drug Take Back Day is tomorrow. Drop off your old prescription drugs or expired or, ones at participating Or see one of our locations. former co-workers. They'll meet you by the interstate. <laughs> They'll yeah. take you drugs. So uh, where they don't even care if it's old. <laughs> I have several Kroger locations. If they you... want you to bring your drugs there. Yeah. Yes. You yes. don't take them into the store. It's just kind of like a... Oh, a, drop off thing. Yeah, drop off. I, we should. I had to flush all mine when the cops were coming, but... No, I think no, for everyone else, it's no, a nice option. What? No, no. Then it's like a movie. Cops no. are here. Give me that. Damn toilet. <laughs> uh, this might not be true, but I'll tell you anyway, because I read this enough in, uh, you know, those did you know things. Uh, who was this? It, did this happen to? It happened to Keith Richards. Okay. Imagine you're Keith Richards, the guitarist of the Rolling Stones. You're getting ready for a show. Mm-hmm. You're backstage and some sort of thing. So the manager in another room goes, Keith, the police are here. So oh, Keith no. immediately flushes Flush everything he has down there. And it turns out it's Sting, Stuart Copeland, uh, and Nancy awesome. Summers. The police are here. <laughs> that's <laughs> supposedly a true story. That's really and they cool. wanted drugs. Hey, man, you got the stuff? Uh, I, just, I just flush oh. it down the toilet. The police are here. Flushy, flushy, <laughs> flushy, flushy, flushy. All right, thank you. You're now welcome. we're going to take a 20-second break for Doja Cat.